God's time is the best. Hmm. It's easy to say it all, but it's a pain for body when you want something immediately and it's not happening then. Hi guys! Welcome back to Time Out with Praise. My name is Praise Shaka, your amazing and beautiful host with a vibe, ginger, and everything. <laughs> to be honest, I know that you are looking at me one eyes from where you are. And you are looking at me and saying, who is looking at this one? Mm, I know, don't be angry, I'm not being angry. See, life was life in, eh? And a lot was going on with me. First of all, podcasting is even expensive. Because sometimes when I even share the link to you, say, before you, you will not share the link to anyone. You will not say anything. You even tell me, ah, the episode was great or what you liked or nothing. Share feedback, nobody will talk. Everybody is muted. And if that's not the main reason, you don't think because you don't respond to me, that's why I stop podcasting. But I don't respond. I'm still going to do this. But then life was life in. I was going through a different um, season in my life and I just needed to like take the backstage and just like look at what what's happening by the way some people are going through hot and um, difficult seasons in their life and instead of just holding on for a while they will come and be talking from a place of art so i didn't want to continue recording and i should not be telling all of you the things that is not true or what is not good because then i know in life you're always learning on learning and relearning but then we have to be careful so that we do not um especially for people like me that do what i do i don't want to bleed on others so i don't want um to give people um answers to things from my own experiences or my own bad experiences so i decided to take it in absorb things in and then um come from a place of okay this is what's happening and just be myself again because i was not understanding who i was so i'm understanding but you shall understand what i'm saying basically so um i decided that let me take a break and by the way like i said before podcasting is expensive and that's why every time i'm always telling people to send me money give me money <laughs> i'm just joking though but then and on Spotify, you have the advantage of gifting people and things like that. Even on other platforms, never have I seen one error. Not even one error of your money. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm in the middle. Sha. Ahem. So I decided I let me take a break and all that. But in the meantime, a lot of things have happened. And let me just give you a bit of update. So I found a new church in February last year. Yes, I always knew the church was my friend's church. Um, but then. One of my brothers was like, oh, let's go to the show. I've been waiting there. And I just felt at home. And I was like, ah. I called my mom. I was like, mommy, I found my church. I always say that for everyone. If you know me, you know I'm a Christian girl. Church girl. Born and brought up in the church. Forever in the church. Used to, used to go our own way sometimes. But never out of the church. So I always say that everybody... Um, People have the type of churches that fit into their life and seasons. Um, some people would rather be in churches that nobody knows them. I've been in a church that nobody knew me, and if I don't go to church, nobody even knows that I did not come to church. I feel like the seasons of your life, you shouldn't be in churches like that because you need a place where you are properly rooted and where people can actually follow up on you and say praise what's going on why are you not in church and i feel like when you are accountable to people it's easier for you to come back to church and always come back to church even when you don't feel like it so i found a new church and i love my new church and so i'm just telling you about my new church basically that one aside um in the last one year because i realized the last time i recorded was february 2023 oh my god over a year ago uh see so yeah, don't have i actually felt guilty let me not lie i felt guilty but a lot was going on and to be honest if i come to record now i can start crying <laughs> i can start crying so i'm just like well it can't wait um basically 
different things have happened in the last one year i've learned what one of the things i've learned so i'll just take you through some of the things i've learned in the last one year and we'll just call it a day so the major thing is i'm back to podcasting and um, this is season four episode one like season four ah, ah, which i did try now i did try now season four ah, ah, i did try <laughs> Um, so basically, I'll just take you to, through the things I've learned in the past um, one year when, when I was in recording and just let you know what I'm up to and then we can just go. So in the last one year, I've learned that um, you sh we should always be open to understanding that sometimes you are the problem. And when I say you are the problem, it might be that there are some things in your life that you need to change to make room for the new to make room for the new season of your life and uh, it's easy to overlook your own you know how it is we don't always want to believe we are the wrong one we always feel that other people are wrong we, we are right but then you have to get to that season of your life where you realize that you are the wrong one and you need to change so you need to relearn you need to change your bad habit and behavior because until you do those things you will never go get into the new season and then i also learned that you need to love yourself like completely so sometimes you feel like oh, i love myself but then i realized that if you love yourself enough there are some things you would not accept and you'd be vocal about them you would say them out i do not want these things i do not accept these things and they won't come to you but if you're in that place where you don't even know what you want you don't even know what you like everything will come to you you will not even know what is for you and what is not for you so what i'm saying that as you are falling in love with yourself the more make sure that you know what you want these are the things i can accept these are the things i'm not going to accept because the every season of our lives brings what we are like we attract things so if you're in that place where you're unsure of yourself you attract people that are unsure you are you attract different things not only people even the kind of things that will come to you be things that are not yours and you can't even differentiate if this is mine or not also one of the things I have, I have learned is that whatever you want give yourself first if you want somebody to give you something make sure you give yourself first and i i've seen it work for me so sometimes i'm like oh i want somebody to give me this and so i'm just like okay why don't i give myself and sometimes i end up giving myself what i want and then somebody else then gives me the same thing i'm like okay because you it shows when you know what you want and when you give yourself what you want people around you would feel the energy and they will give you what you want not oh this one she's unsure okay just about anything but when you know indeed this is what i want you're going to get it i assure you you're going to get it so don't feel like oh because this person couldn't get this thing you will not get it if that is what you wanted that season you are going to get it also one of the things i learned is that um as a person we are you have to just make sure that you understand the seasons you are there are different seasons in your life there's a season to move back just hold on and listen there are seasons where you come back out and there are seasons where everything is in motion and if you're in that place where you feel like things are not working out for you you can just be like god wants you to sit back and just Go back to the drawing board and just say okay what is the next step because i i have been in a place where i felt like nothing was working but well, indeed there were other things that i already like i was doing already so instead of just saying oh everything is not working out sometimes you might just need to step back and say okay what is the next step what do i need to do again from here instead of just shutting down completely and yes you, if you need to take a break please do take a break i'm not saying you should take a break like me for over one year <laughs> so i'm just saying if you need to actually take a break take a break because it is important don't um don't feel like oh you have to get everything done immediately because sometimes you can't even divide things okay if you have a goal stretch it i'll do this within this period i'll do this within this period because i've learned that at the end of the day you are not in a competition with anybody our lives are very different and unique and i would say it's easy to um compare yourself with others because i have done that too and I, see compare yourself with others you will feel worse and you feel miserable because you just be like ah, 
how come everything is working out for this person it's not working out? but then i realized my life is different from yours hmm. this season might be your own season this season might be a season of um warming up for me so and that has helped me a lot so you hardly see me compare myself with others one other thing i've also learned in this season is um cost time is the best hmm it's easy to say it all but it, it a pain for body when you want something immediately and it's not happening then but then at the end i've always realized that even when something doesn't happen immediately for me when it is happening it's always the perfect time and i'll be like yay no wonder god knew what he was doing because if this thing has happened in that time maybe it would have worked out for me how it is working out for me and because <clears throat> if you do not wait for your own timing you will do the things you are not meant to do because you want to push the timing forward so you go to the places you are not meant to go to you will do the things you put your hand in things that you will regret but then like i've said now god's time is the best you should wait for god's time and one of the other things that i've learned in this past few years is um when <laughs> when it is your time everything ends up working out like i just said like it will just be like a miracle you know like, ah! but the other time when i tried this it didn't work out but now it's working out so just know that God's time is the best and things are going to fall in place for you. Eh? I don't they preach. Shit! <laughs> hey! Some people said, Pastor, I know a pastor, I'm just my own, but then at the end of the day, every we have different callings. So one of the things I learned, which is what I was saying now, is that you don't have to be a pastor to have a ministry. Everybody has different ministries. Some people's ministry is their work. Wherever you're planted in that season is your ministry. If it is your office work, if it's your podcast, if it's your business, it's your ministry. Because when we, everybody wants, like some people want to be called. They want God to come and tell them, oh, this is your ministry, you should start preaching. But sometimes wherever you're placed at that season, that is your ministry. So you have to take it like with seriousness. You have to take it like, you have to be, serious about it and you have to do it very well at the end of the day all i'm trying to say is that i'm back so um let me just give you a quick breakdown of what i'm doing with my um with time out with praise so time out with praise used to be like a podcast podcasting but i'm breaking it down i think some of you might have seen the update where i changed the logo and other things yes the logo of the podcast still remains but time out with praise is no longer only a podcast i'm breaking it down it's now an um, entertainment up where we would have podcasts youtube shows and even events and as i mentioned events we're having the first ever created event on the 2nd of november it's a friendship event where people come together to just talk about their friends um in a chilled atmosphere every time people are going for master class um conferences but can we just take a chill pill it's not a party but it's a calm and cool environment where you just sit down and you just and um one of the most exciting things about this event is um the part where you have the opportunity to present your friend so we have like a screen where you actually make a presentation and you put it on the screen and you talk about your friend so you can just say okay you have a, um, a presentation done where you talk about your friend, what they do, what their likes and hobbies and what, why you love them with pictures. And then you have the opportunity to tell everybody about your friend. So um, we have for this particular episode, it's, I say episode, <laughs> for this particular edition, we have just five slots for that. Um, if you're interested in it, you can always reach out to me on my personal Instagram page or time out to praise instagram and do uh, and as you know i'm an event planner so you should be expecting something lit and interesting so um time out to praise that is that those are the activities and things that are going to be coming up on this youtube channel and wherever you are listening Sha, you can go and check just go and check the page on instagram time out with praise you can check the um, page on facebook time out with praise you can check on 
um, X, formerly known as Twitter, Time Out with P, and TikTok, Time Out with P. I'm so excited and I'm so emotional because <laughs> it's been a long run. And thank you so much to everyone who reached out to me. And the people were like, Praise, why haven't you recorded? Are you good? Are you okay? I'm very okay. I'm very all right. And um, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for just being here. And thank you for loving me and loving what I do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can reach out to me if you have questions. And for the events, we need sponsors and partners. So I'm counting on you to reach out to me. I reach out to you either ways. Um, this episode, did I even tell you the topic of this episode? I not say it. Okay, so the topic was why I was quiet, basically. But now, I'm no longer quiet. So reach out to me and let me know what you think or what you want to do thank you so much i love you guys bye bye bye